In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all creation. May the salutations of Allah, his peace and blessings be upon our Prophet, his family, his companions, and his true and sincere followers until the last day then to proceed. Dear brothers and sisters, Eid al-Fitr or the festival of breaking the fast is one of the most celebrated of all Muslim holidays observed by over two billion Muslims around the world. During the entire month of Ramadan, Muslims observe a strict fast and participate in various pious activities such as charitable giving, sadaqah, peacemaking, Quran recitation, zikr, tarawih, qiyamul etc. It is a time of intense spiritual renewal for those who observe it. At the end of Ramadan, Muslims throughout the world break their fast and celebrate their accomplishments in Eid al-Fitr. Beloved servants of Allah, Eid al-Fitr is a religious festival for all Muslims around the world. Eid al-Fitr marks the end of noble month of Ramadan. Eid al-Fitr is Allah's reward for believers who fasted during the noble month of Ramadan. This is also believers thanking Allah for giving them the chance and the strength to carry out his commands during the blessed month of Ramadan. Traditionally, Eid al-Fitr is celebrated for three days in almost all Muslim countries. Both Eid al-Fitr and Eid al had have great significance in Islam as the same is evident from the following hadith which was narrated by Anas bin Malik Ra, who said, Allah has given you better than those feasts, festivals of non-believers, the Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr. And now say, remember one thing that fasting on Eid days, i.e. Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha is forbidden, as the same is evident from the following hadith, which was narrated by Abu Sand al Kadrirov, who said that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the O fasting is permissible on the two days of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha, Bakari. Since it is a religious festival, Muslims all over the world celebrate this event with much fervor, and each country's celebrations vary, as there is an influence of their traditions. Now, Muslims all over the world celebrate the festival of Eid al-Fitr by starting the day with the Eid prayer. After offering prayer, Muslim greet each other with the customary Eid greeting, Eid Mubarak. Everyone gets new clothes made for the special occasion because every single person wants to look his or her best. The day is spent with friends and family get-togethers, indulging in delicious feasts and handing out gifts also known as Salah gifts or Bark da Sala in Hausa language. Eid al-Fitr is a time of happiness and enjoyment, and this is also evident from the following hadith, which was narrated by Aisha Ra, who reported that Prophet, peace be upon him, said to Abu Bakr Ra on the day of Eid when Abu Bakr Ra saw two girls were singing the stories about the day of Bath and Madna. O oh, Abu Bakr, every people have their Eid, and this is our Eid, Bakari. In that narration, it is said that Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, said to Abu Bakr, R.A., Let them be, O Abu Bakr, for these are days of Eid. Religious scholars have differing opinions on Eid prayers. However, all Muslims should attend prayers of both Eids as most scholars, on the basis of strong evidence, is of opinion that it is wajib of obligation. One of the purposes behind Eid prayer is to provide an opportunity to a large number of Muslims to attend congregations in an atmosphere of religious piety. Apart from prayer, the Eid sermon after Eid prayer has also been made an integral part of this gathering and the prayer. It is important and compulsory for a Muslim to pay zakat al-fitr or sadiqat al-fitr before offering of Eid prayer. Bakari. The time for Eid prayer begins from the time the sun is three meters above the horizon until the sun reaches its meridian. However, it is better to offer the prayer in the early hours after the sunrise. Abu Dawud, know that Eid prayer is performed without any ekema or azan, Muslim. And Eid prayer consists of two rakats, two units prayer during which takbir Allahu Akbar is announced seven times. Abu Dawud, rest of the prayer is same as other prayer offered daily.
After completing the prayer, it is some of some scholars say that it is wajib, obligatory, to listen to the sermon cut after Eid prayer. So one should stay for the imam's sermon to end after completing the Eid prayer. After listening to the sermon, Muslims congratulate each other with greetings such as Eid Mubarak, Happy Eid. However, the most common Eid greeting Muslims like to wish their friends and fellow Muslims with is Eid Mubarak. A person should follow the teachings of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him for every aspect of life. The same should also be applied for Eid prayer. Following are some of the son of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with regards to Eid prayer that every Muslim should follow colon. One, take a bath or perform ablution before going for prayer. Two, use a toothbrush or miswack to clean your mouth. Three, wear your best clothes on this day. Four, apply perfume. Five, eat an odd number of dates before leaving for prayer of Eid al-Fitr. Bakari, six, make sure that you have paid zakat al-Fitr before offering Eid prayer. Seven, recite the tapra at Swagondi and returning from Eid prayer. Listen to the sermon cut, but after offering Eid prayer. And I say, nine, use different ways while going in returning from the mosque eat ground after offering eat prayer. Bakari, dear brothers and sisters, narrated Ibn Umar Radat Colon, as messenger peace be upon him made it incumbent wajib swish obligatory on all the servants or free Muslims, male or female, to pay one say of dates, barley, or grain as zakat al fitr. Bakari. According to above mentioned hadith, zakat al fitr or sadiqat al fitr is wajib slash obligatory upon every Muslim, including servant freemen, male, female, young, newborn, and old. Compulsion of zakat al fitr on a Muslim is same as the nisab of normal zakat nisab is the exemption limit for the payment of zakat. The amount of sadiqat al fitr to be given by each person is an amount minimum or equivalent to one say of grain, barley, or date. Say is an ancient measure of volume, and most common understanding is that one say is equivalent to a prox, 225 to 5 kg. However, Muslim scholars all around the world usually announce the amount of zakat al fitr to be paid during Ramadan. As in normal zakat, zakat al-fitr is distributed among poor and needy Muslims. It is preferable to give sadiqat al-fitr first to needy relatives, then to needy neighbors, and then to other needy Muslims. And this zakat al-fitr should be paid before the Eid prayer. Celebrate the day with your loved ones by indulging in delicious festive feasts and handing out gifts. Give out charity as much as you can so that your underprivileged Muslim brothers and sisters can also celebrate this blessed festival. And please remember the entire Ummah and your country in your prayers and your da'as supplications. Allah, you are truly merciful. Please forgive us. Choose for us what is best. Allah, help us to succeed in this life and the hereafter. Ya Allah, if we have been in any way ungrateful, unjust, dishonest, please forgive us. Ya Allah, we don't know if we will be alive next Ramadan, please forgive us. Grant us a place in paradise. Save us from hellfire. Ya Allah, include us in the people who will be put in heaven without accountability. Ya Allah, help us to spread your religion in the best of ways. Ya Allah, please let us not be among the backbiters. Ya Allah, forgive us if we have been among the arrogant. Ya Allah, forgive us. Grant us success. Verily, you are most forgiving, most merciful. Amin. May Allah send his salah and salam upon our noble prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And all praises and thanks are due to Allah alone, Lord of the worlds. May the peace, blessings, and salutations of Allah be upon our noble messenger, Muhammad, and upon his family, his companions, and his true and sincere followers.